Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings and this is how to set up the Vortex Wireless 2 in FL Studio. In the Vortex Wireless 2 preset editor, I'm going to set all the pads to CC toggle and set the on to 127. And that's it. Now I'm just going to go up to file, click on send preset and send the preset back to the Vortex Wireless 2. First, we need to set up the Vortex Wireless 2 in FL Studio. So go up to the top left, click on FL Studio and then preferences. In the window that appears, click on the MIDI tab. And about halfway down the screen there's a section called Input. The Vortex Wireless 2 should appear in this section. If it's not highlighted blue, click on it to highlight it blue. At the bottom of this section there's a button next to the word Enable. If the button is greyed out, click on the button to make sure it's lit up. To the right is the controller type which is set to Generic Controller. Next, I'm going to add four synths. So at the bottom of the channel rack, you'll see that there's a plus sign. Click on the plus sign and it will show you this list. About halfway down, it will start with the samplers and then underneath the samplers will be the synths. Now select a synth. Now we need to group the four simps so that we can play them at the same time. So at the bottom of the channel rack, click on the plus sign again. This time in the miscellaneous section, click on layer. Now layer has been added to the channel rack, click on layer. Select the four simps by clicking on the first synth and dragging down so that you highlight the button for all four simps. Now back in the layer window, click on set children. Just above set children, there's the word layering and next to that is a triangle. Click on that triangle. Now click on group children and give the group a name. Back in the channel rack, click at the top of the channel rack next to where it says channel rack and select all. Now, if you select layer and press a key on the vortex, all four simps play at the same time. Next, we're going to switch the simps on and off using the mute button linked to pads 5 to 8 on the vortex. So, in the top toolbar, click on the multi link button. Now click on the mute button for the first synth. Then click on pad 5 on the vortex. Click on the multi-link button again and select the mute button for the second synth and press pad 6 on the vortex. Click on the multi-link button again and do the same for the third synth. Click in on pad 7. Finally, click on the multi-link button again, then click on the mute for the fourth synth and press pad 8 on the vortex. You can now switch the synths individually on and off using pads 5 to 8. Next, I'm going to blend the sounds from the four synths using the volume controls linked to faders 5 to 8 on the vortex. So click on the multi-link button 
and move the volume control for the first synth. Now move fader 5 up and down on the vortex. Click on the multi-link button again. Move the volume control for the second synth up and down. And move fader 6 on the vortex. Click on the multi-link button again. Move the volume control for the third synth. And move fader 7 on the vortex. Click on the multi-link button. Move the volume control for the fourth synth. Then move fader 8 on the vortex. Now you can blend the sound of all four synths together. Next I'm going to route all four synths as a group to one track on the mixer. So click on the first synth and then drag down to select the others. Now select a track in the mixer. Right mouse click the track and then select channel routing root selected channels to this track. Next I'm going to add an insert that will affect the whole group. So with the track highlighted, move the cursor to the right end of the mixer and click on slot 1. Now I'm going to go to the group here that says delay reverb and I'm going to click on the reverb 2. Next a window appears and I can select different reverbs. Now I'm going to link the wet fader to fader 4 on the vortex so I can control the amount of reverb. Click on the multi-link button. Move the wet fader. Then move fader 4 on the vortex. Finally, I'm going to link faders 1, 2 and 3 to the three EQ faders for the track. So click on the multi-link button. Then, with the track highlighted, move across to the right of the mixer and click on the first of the three equalizer faders and move it up and down. Now move fader 1 on the vortex and do the same for faders 2 and 3. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.